FIFA Ultimate Team Coins have a new promotion, 15% off all your coins, and if you use the code ETON, you get an additional 5% off. What is going on, guys? Welcome to a very special video. Very, very excited to try this player out. Kako is actually back. So, we did buy, buy him for around 500k. Very expensive player, 90 pace, 90 shooting, 88 passing, 93 dribbling and 68 physical with full star, full star, making him an amazing player to use in your Brazilian squad if you don't really want to make an MLS squad. And he really suits any sort of position forward. Look at that, he, he he's, um, his normal position is a centre attack in mid, but I'm going to use him as a striker alongside Hulk. This is the Brazilian team we're going to be using, it's a cheap one. Don't want to be wasted too much coins on getting the mic on yet and you know um, investing too much in brazilian players so overall the team looks good but i'm very excited to try out kaka man I, like, like kaka is so good I, he just brings back memories from fifa 11 fifa 12 holy shit cannot wait anyway make sure you check out g2a that link will be in the description if you to buy psn cards microsoft points or cheap pc games also there's another 17 classic players that have been revealed by a make sure you check that out they're all in packs right now here we go all right so our opponent has a bundesliga team this is gonna be interesting let's see how we play with kako 90 pace i want to see if he actually is going to feel like he has 90 pace or still like his normal cards where you won't feel that much of a pace upgrade and here we go hulk off the kickoff come on let's go come on pass it away to kaka kaka yo ref come on that is kaka's first touch feels very agile a lot more than his normal card but let's hope that he's fast i really want to know if he's going to be a lot faster than his normal car that is the most important thing because 90 pace is a huge pace upgrade let's ch double check his free kick stats 76 free kicks okay so not that great but we'll try our luck here we go kako with the free kick of dreams holy crap look at that wow three minutes in and kako already scores us a goal look at that it's did it curve oh it was a deflection from the wall as well still went in so who cares? Oh crap. Oh crap. Uh, he completely killed me with Royce there. Can't really say anything. He actually annihilated my... Like I, every time I expected him go, to go somewhere, he went a different way. So completely deserved that goal. Oh, what a save and... Oh, what a save! Holy crap, we got so lucky there. Kako, you have 90 pace. Kaka does have 90 pace. We're gonna try the shots. Come on, we should have came close actually. Oh my god, the 90 pace. Can it come into play? Oh, come on. Easily bullied off. I mean, he does have 68 physical, so really can't complain there. Kaka one us that really nicely. Kaka there. Why would you get your keeper out there? No idea. We finish off. We could potentially finish off this match 2-1. Kaka right now, I have some mixed opinions on him. I'll tell you guys uh, maybe after the second game, uh, depending if he improves in the second game. But uh, for now, mixed opinions on him. Kaka with the 90 pace. Kaka with the 90 pace and the finish is bad. The goalkeeper just saves it. There you go. That actually proves he is pretty fast because he basically... Oh my god, what is going on? Ah. Oh. Was that Kako? Actually, no, Kako was the one that crossed it. But yeah, it just proves that he's actually a lot faster than his normal card. Just by looking at that, I think he beat Boatang for the ball, which is crazy because Boatang is one of the fastest uh, defenders you could have. All right, so we win the first game. Not a bad performance from Kako. Still expecting a bit more from him with those crazy stats. He did score us two goals, though, so no complaints there. He does get man of the match, so let's get into the second game and see if we're going to face a tougher opponent. 
All right, so our second opponent has a Syrian team. Let's go, Kakor. Kakor versus Insigne. Let's hope Kakor get fouled. Let's hope something could happen here. Kakor with the finesse shot. Wow. How could um, that not be on target? I guess he was under pressure a lot by the opponents. Here we go. The cross. Kakor's there. What? Another miss. What's Kaka's finishing? We might have to check that. Shit. Senior's gonna score this. Oh my god! What? How did the opponent miss that? You know what? I have a feeling Kaka has better finesse shots than shooting. I mean, like, long shots. So let's actually double check that. 88 acceleration, 91 sprint speed, 78 strength. He does feel a lot weaker than that, though. 97 ball control, 95 dribbling, 87 finishing, he doesn't feel like that. 92 long shots with 87 shot power, I don't know about that. 91 curve, there you go. So we might have to try out um, his finesse shots. His long shots, um, I don't know, I'm not feeling them. Oh, Hulk with the header in the 88th minute. And I have to say, like I tried scoring with Kaka a lot. He's not, I don't know, man. He doesn't feel the best of players. All right, so there you guys have it. We finished the match, and all I have to say is about Kako. He's an okay player. Like, he obviously didn't suit the striker position, but even as a center attacker mid, I actually prefer my center attacker mids to be agile, strong. Now, Kaka, it showed that he he's, he's supposed to be strong in this card, even in his in-game stats, but I don't know. He didn't feel strong to me. He felt quite weak. And another thing is, his shooting didn't feel as good as in-game stats showed. So, when I was taking long shots, as you guys saw, the goalkeeper would save it a lot of the time. Sometimes Kaka would have no pressure on him, and the goalkeeper would still save it. One thing I want to admit, though, his finesse shots, when you put him on the left side, he is, like, very deadly. His finesse shots curve very, very nicely into, into the top right corner, if that's where you're aiming, obviously. He also has that four-star, four-star, so he definitely will suit some people's playstyles. But for me, I don't know, sometimes he didn't even feel like he had 90 pace, sometimes he did feel like he has 90 pace, so it's a bit hit and miss with this Kaka. So hopefully you enjoyed this video, if you did, please hit the like button. Kaka is back, I'm definitely going to be making more videos on the new classic international man of the match cards, or hero cards, so um, there's a lot more to look forward to. Next week we could get the Euro classic uh, hero cards, so we could expect Totti, Pirlo, and other amazing players from back in the day. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hit the like button if you did. And hopefully you have a very nice day.